PC mill land sale. Of course, it's coming up in Mumbai, at least in March. Okay, Indian companies have got a huge booster shot, and that's, of course, from the government stimulus package. Now, they were hoping for breaks in direct taxes as well. However, ET Now's Ganpati Subramaniam finds out that the government is in no mood to relent on that. More shops in the name of growth. That's what corporate India wants. And among their demands, a cut in corporate tax from 30% to 25%. And another cut in minimum alternative tax from 15 to 10%. But this man already has a tough job balancing his books. And he is in no mood for any cuts. When we talk about budget 2010, I think it will be more, it, it should be more or less in line with the existing tax norm. Without any major or significant change coming in our way this year particularly. The direct taxes code is another factor. The finance ministry does not want to give any concessions before analysts feel direct tax rates may come down only if DTC is not diluted. If you look at the direct tax code itself, the government itself is proposing a lower rate of 25%. So maybe we can move in the right direction this year itself before even waiting for the direct tax code to come. So I think government should consider. Has that kind of a leeway this year? I have my doubts. So if you were hoping for tax relief for your businesses, those hopes will be dashed. The government of India has done its best by cutting interest rates and giving sectoral SOPs. And it's in no mood to cut taxes as well. Atar Khan and Ganapati Subramaniam, ET Now, New Delhi.